First of all, we uh, had to dress like doctors and then um, we had to uh, not communicate or communicate uh, with a lot of restrictions and then step by step we um, got rid of these restrictions, which was a good thing. People came together who were absolutely didn't know each other before that and that is actually an advantage because um, you don't have any history or any burden. And I think everybody was much more open than he would have been with people he had known before. Um, there was this interesting kind of silent exercise going to the Tiergarten Park. Uh, and it was interesting what people made out of that. Um, and then and it became much, uh, much more interesting by really having that um, out of the frame exercise going out uh, talking to people again, which you never oh, knew sorry. before and you would probably never meet again. We had to make telephones and tell each other stories uh, through these phones. And it was kind of uh, lots of fun because we were in this beautiful surroundings. You felt that mm, here, this is the way where one should think uh, freely and um, but we were, we should interview our, uh, another participant of the group and listen to his or her story. And then later on we were supposed to retell it in the group. And it's very interesting how much you can tell a person within just a few minutes. Within an hour we heard fantastic stories from people in the street or a person selling the Steinway pianos in Berlin. Um, it told me definitely that everybody has a very, very different story and um, you never know what kind of story you're going to hear when you approach this person at first. For example, we went to a police station, we wanted to talk to a police officer and there was the guy, the guide outside who said, well, you can go inside and so and we just thought, oh, okay, so we're going to miss something. But then we started to talk with him and it came out finally that you know, it seems like he was even more interesting. And then we dive deeper and deeper and suddenly it came out that he was a very fascinating and interesting person. You know, normally you pass by this kind of people just, yeah, because you're on the run or whatever. I think it's one thing um, working together with people you have never known before. So, and you have to be very flexible when you go out and do this exercise on the street because virtually every person reacts differently. And that was something I completely benefited from that. But it was also fun because the more examples you do and the more of the exercise you do, the more confidence you get doing it. We've had very good spirit and I think we're all curious to learn more about each other. And of course the only stressing thing is that we don't have so many hours left. Uh, so it's going to be extreme. I, I think it's going to be extremely interesting to see how this race will speed up. Uh, there's no choice for us. We have to achieve the goals. And then, of course, to make a wonderful public presentation, which I look forward to. So the morning was very nice, so we had to check in. And it was really nice to hear what, what the people felt yesterday, what their experiences were, what was the most exciting thing for them. And it was really lovable, so in a way, because they really showed very deep emotions or impressions they had and they shared it to us. So that was very, very nice. This morning we were um, talking about visions and more abstract things about communications and now we're really trying to find concrete solutions when you work in international uh, uh, projects how you can deal with um, things that inhibit you when you communicate so people are now um, um, they put down the, the problems they really wanted to work on and brainstorm concrete solutions and all the others can actually add and join and it's all. It looks pretty chaotic, but there are a few good concrete things on it already, I think. Yeah, outside we had to embody our visions. 
So it was not about drawing them or writing them down, it was really about embody them, so walk the talk in a way. And we had to find a way to express the vision and then share it with the other groups so they have also embody the vision. So we really got into feeling the whole thing and the, the values we kind of wanted to create. But some people think, oh my god, this is kind of weird stuff or this is crazy because everyone is looking at us. But I think most of the group is always together and is sharing and I think it's absolutely fine that some people can step outside still and step in whenever they want. I think that's the most powerful thing a group can share. Well, it has been great. It's been a nice experience. We decided that we would close this innovation exhibition with something innovative.